Hello YouTube, here we have another random box to have a look at. It's uh, a part of a, a radio homing tracking system. Um, found it on eBay, it wasn't very expensive. Uh, somewhat more modern than some of the other stuff I've been taking apart. It has these really nice big clunky switches on it. A couple of little numeric selectors, some nice displays. Um, rotary switch here, another one there. Uh, interestingly, the, the front panel is um, a bit more, uh, a bit more substantially built than uh, than some of the other things I, I've had, which have just been all perspex um, with with a backlight shining through. This the front panel here is actually a machine block of aluminium um, with some little perspex inserts for the backlit bits. So if we if we take these off, take the light out first. So there's a little backlight. If we take these off, you can see that's that's the uh, the kind of transparent perspex backlight bit with the the uh, the words that light up, and uh, there's a tiny tiny little light. And yeah, all the all the rest of this is actually just a machine block of aluminium. Um, so yeah, rather more advanced construction than uh, than a lot of these sort of boxes. Um, what have we got on the back? Great big chunky connector, and it says what it is. Control homing and DF system. Made by Elliot. So yeah, let's uh, take a look inside it. Applying Loctite again. And there we go. So we've got these very nice quality, great big long switches. These are the uh, numeric selector things. Lots of wire, also a Teflon wire. Uh, what looks like a power regulator and PCBs on the top and the bottom. And that's it from the other side. Not actually much else to see there. So there's another little perspex section. And two more minute lights.
So the back plate is this entire machined block of aluminium, which also comprises the, uh, the structural back of the entire box. Um, they, they've gone to the effort to uh, to make these these little machined uh, cylindrical bits, which which fit into recesses in here as well as screwing in. Um, which it really seems um, overkill, to be honest, but uh, I guess they had their reasons. For the control box, this is easily the most over-engineered, robust control box I've uh, ever taken apart. Uh, but yeah, yeah, fine, quite nice. Same thing on uh, on the front side. Little, little locating pins machined into the sides. Uh, very nicely built. Let's take it apart some more. So these switches are quite interesting. The uh, the buttons pull out, so they're illuminated buttons, and each each have. I looks at four of these little light bulbs in them to light them up. So they pull out so you can change the bulb. And uh, there's this little captive uh, bit of bit of plastic that stops you losing parts. Um, and four nice little gold plated connectors down in there which make contact to the bulbs. Um, also two little screws which you probably can't see very well but I, I suspect that's what's holding them in. So there's lots of splicing on these, on all, on all the little wires from, uh, from these switches. Um, and the actual switch wires just disappear into this kind of anonymous looking silicon rubber block. So I'm not quite sure how you're meant to uh, attach them to anything. Maybe that uh, they, these wires are just fixed in place and uh, the only way to wire the switch in is to have these little splices, but it doesn't seem a very professional way of doing it. Interesting, this green one isn't isn't spliced to anything. Actually, the switches have all been replaced, but in fact, the green wires on all of them aren't spliced, so that doesn't make any sense. wire cutting time, sorry guys, can look away now.
I'd really quite like to keep these switches and, and reuse them in things so I don't just want to go in there and slice all the wires off and then not have enough to uh, to make any other connections to them. Very nice conformal coated PCB. Some motor and chips on. Don't recognise them immediately. They're probably LCD drivers for the uh, not LCD, um, seven segment display drivers for these things. Another conformal coated PCB. Glass resistors, they look like they've got hot. Nice little multi way switch. Oh, it's a backlight. Hmm, that's quite nice. The actual numbers here are backlit. Unfortunately, I can't imagine I'm going to reuse these because uh, with, with micro microprocessor control things on Ar Arduinos and uh, uh, projects like that these days, it's much easier to um, to just have like a, a little LCD display and, uh, and th that you can control over uh, like uh, I2C or something um, and a rotary encoder than it is to kind of muck about dealing with all these individual connections from each and every digit and have like a masses of wires going all over the place. Um, so uh, nice though they are. I don't know I'm really going to bother to do anything with them.
three green wires spliced together. Well, another one. Green wires spliced together as well. So the way these lock in is actually pretty clever. They have these little screws right down in the bottom there. And when you turn them, there's this this little tab here, and of course it it flips out in in the direction you're turning in. So uh, when you put this sleeve on. Like that. If you want to, you, you want to tighten it it down like that on on the the bulkhead that, that that's kind of in, in that gap there. Um, you start tightening this screw up, and that little that little tab flips out because the the direction you're turning to tighten flips it out, and it as you're tightening it, it also tightens it down. So so it kind of goes like that and, and tightens down the. Uh, the sleeve it's 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 quite nice uh, quite a nice little system and of course the sleeve has this gap in so that, so you can install this and then just slip this sleeve on over the top um, and then tighten it the only problem from the perspective of reusing these things is they need a very nice square hole and one that's actually quite uh, 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 quite a precision fit in order for this very thin sleeve to um, to locate properly and and uh, and have some tension on it and not just slip through the hole you've made. Um, okay. But they're such nice um, switches, I think it's uh, probably worth the effort. Oh, it comes out completely. There you, go. you can see the uh, Four little light bulbs. And there's a bit of a zoomed in. And four little sprung contacts in there. Super high quality. So yeah, there we go. Another box reduced to a useful pile of parts. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I've got some uh, more good stuff coming along soon. Um, I'm actually going to build something at some point, so I'll show you that. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, do uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you uh, if you like this and want to see more of it. Thanks for watching.